Hello there, my name's Michael Maynard. The look I've got today is a thing called a Chateau Stainless Steel Heavy Duty Disc Padlock. Now, we've all seen these before. Um, these are modelled on a very old, very successful design. This one is, if you can see down in the bottom right hand corner there, made in China. So, you know, this probably isn't the best quality one you're ever going to find. Um, it cost me five New Zealand dollars at a place just down the road here. Um, and I just want to know what you get for your five bucks, you know. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this thing up and see just exactly what the quality is like and whether or not it's worth our five bucks. Okay. Here's our lock. Pretty standard disc lock. You've seen that before. Here is our key. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five notches there, so I'm thinking five pins, it kind of makes sense. And I think on the back of the pack it said that as well, something about solid brass five pin tumbler mechanism for greater security. So let's see if it actually does have what it says in the box. Um, just looking at the lock itself, the finishing is kind of okay. It's These things are made like a kind of a sandwich, kind of like a clamshell and then welded around the edge and the weld looks okay let's be honest the keyway is a little Yale style padlock size keyway I hate these things I find them quite difficult and quite fiddly to pick um, but that's just I guess what you expect on a lock like this and when you get the key in there what have we got okay it opens pretty smoothly um, it did take a lot of force to open that lock though, so I am pushing pretty hard on that thing to turn it. Um, that might give us some trouble with picking because little wee tiny core, little wee tiny pins doesn't really want a lot of tension on it for picking, you know. But if there's a lot of resistance on there, we're going to have to use quite a bit of tension just to get this thing turning so I'm thinking it might be a little bit tricky to balance the two things out um, I haven't picked this before you saw that come straight out of the packet so I really don't know what to expect here I think what we're going to try and do is use bottom of the keyway tension yep let's just put the short end of that in um, this is a Sparrow's bottom of the keyway tension wrench and it's quite a narrow keyway. I am going to use a narrow, so that's 15 thousandth Sparrow's short hook. So, a little bit of tension. The pick certainly goes in, nothing's binding. A little bit more. Nothing's binding, a little bit more. Okay, it feels like pin 5 is binding and maybe just set. What else have we got? Pin 1 is binding, just set that. Going back down through, either pin 2 or 3 I think is binding. It's kind of hard to get the pick under there. In fact, it's very hard to get the... Oh, here we go. And we're open. Okay, well, a little bit of a surprise. Uh, nominally, there are five pins in this thing, but as far as I know, I only picked three there. So, this does happen with Chinese locks, guys. Chinese locks, the tolerances, well, cheap locks in general, let's be honest, the tolerances are not particularly good. And I may have just bumped a pin there or something on the way through. Doesn't really matter. Okay, now. Um, I guess the better question here though is how well this lock is going to stand up to attack. Now, guys who break into stuff, criminals, they don't use picks, alright? Um, it's just us locksport guys and locksmiths who get in there with a pick. So 
the kind of guy that's going to want to get in behind whatever this thing is locking up is going to use a little bit more force, okay? They're going to be kind of crude. So what I thought I'd do is maybe try and test this to destruction and um, just kind of see how much abuse it's going to take. Now, first thing I've got here is a dirty great screwdriver. I'm just going to try and crank that core around. <sighs> okay, and I have to be honest, that ain't going anywhere and I'm really levering on that. You can see some scratching on the brass. The brass is kind of soft, um, but the thing still works. Okay, next thing I'm going to try is bolt cutters. I'm going to mount this up in the vise if I can get this thing working. Okay, you can see that in the vise now. 18 inch bolt cutters. These things will get into most things, it has to be said. Let's see what it's going to do with this allegedly hardened shackle. Okay, I'm on my try on that. Okay, I got nothing. Um, I think maybe that shackle is hardened. And I think maybe if I was a criminal trying to get through that, I'd be having a little bit of trouble. So listen, what do I think about this lock? I think for five bucks, this thing is really, really good. I don't know if I'd use it to lock up my house, but if I was looking for something to maybe secure a gym locker, something like that, um, this for five bucks is going to give you as much security as you know something like that really needs so in summary here this chateau chinese stainless steel 70 mil disc lock actually pretty good worth the five bucks thank you for watching folks if you enjoyed this please subscribe thank you